You're probably familiar with enumerations and structs from other languages. Enumerations define a set of related values, and a struct is a convenient way to bundle properties together. In Swift, enumerations and structs are more powerful than in other languages because they can have their own methods and are able to conform to protocols. In other words, in Swift, it's easy to give an enum or a struct its own suite of functionalities. Let's start with enumerations. Enums are usually used for a finite set of values. An enum of the primary colors would look like this. You start with the word enum, followed by the name of the group, and in between curly braces, you have a list of members preceded by the word case. Here's another example. This is an enum of my aunties. Notice that you don't have to write the word case for every member. You can use this shorthand in which members are separated by commas. You might be used to enums having integer values, like they do in C. In Swift, enum members can take on a value of any primitive type. For example, I have this enum of the American League West division. Let's say I wanted each member to hold the value of their home city as a string. I just indicate string up here next to the name of the enum, and then I can define those values in the enum definition, like so. You can access those string values like this, with the built-in property raw value. Enums and switch statements work really well together. Here's a statement that switches on the value of the variable destination. Destination is an enum of type California Park, which you can see has four members. This statement prints out different warnings based on which enum member matches the value of destination. Notice that if I leave out one of the parks, the compiler gives me a warning. This can be especially helpful if I add a value to an enum after I've already used it in a switch statement. The compiler helps me make sure all my switch statements are exhaustive. As you saw up here, initialization of an enum type is really simple. They're just defined with a specific member of the enum. Alternatively, they can also be designed with raw values, like these city strings we used for the American League West. Or they can be defined with what are called failable initializers. For more on those options, follow the link in the instructor's notes.